Have you ever gone out and been in public and you wanted to talk to this woman and you didn't really know what to say? So maybe you went online and you try to get like some lines or some tactics or something and they didn't work for you and they don't work for mo most introverted guys. They don't work for me either and I, they never did, which is why I had to step away from it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you something else you can do and why being your unapologetic self is all she ever really wanted from you to begin with. Hi, my name is Ed Baxter from Genuine Attraction, unapologetic dating and relationship mastery for conscious men, where we teach men how to get out of their head and into her heart so they can find and attract their perfect partner. So if you're new here and you like what you're learning, consider subscribing and hit the bell below after you hit the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I make a new video. And just so you know, there's some other things I'm doing now that you may find interesting. If you're not part of the Facebook group, go on Facebook and go to and search Genuine Attraction. There'll be a link below and I'll answer your questions directly. Maybe I'll make a video like this. You'll also see some other questions that I've answered from other guys. And if you like what you see, again, consider subscribing. So let's get to it. I can't stress the importance of being unapologetically yourself. Like normally I do these videos and they're scripted, but today I decided not to do the video scripted because I want you to see a little bit more of my personality and how I act and present myself in a normal setting where I'm just saying what goes comes to mind, right? Just bullet points. So I'm gonna do my best to do this in one take and most likely I won't. I'll probably have to cut some of the stuff because I, I tend to pontificate and get on other subjects and stuff like that. So the reason I stress being unapologetically yourself is because if you go out there and you try to be something other than you're not, like if you go out there and you try to say something to sound cool to her, her intuition is gonna spike and she's going to feel that and, and it's not gonna be congruent with how you are. In other words, you're gonna feel inside differently than how you're expressing yourself with your words. And you know, you can, there's a lot of ways to tell liars, but what you're doing is you're being a liar and you're trying to manipulate the situation. And it can be hard. I know it can be hard as a guy who doesn't have a lot of attention from women or hasn't had a lot of attention in the past to really accept themselves in that arena. So they'll go up to a woman, they'll say, well, I'm not enough and I don't have the qualities that she would like in a guy. Women have demonstrated that I'm a loser and I haven't had a lot of attention. So why would I think that this woman would like me too? So why even try? And the thing is, is that that locks you down. When you start thinking like that, you get locked down and you can't get out of your shell. And so it's really important to really learn to love yourself, really learn to love and accept the things about you that make you unique and the things that you really enjoy. That's why I'm wearing this Dungeons and Dragons shirt because I love RPGs, I love video games, I love doing all these things. I'm a gamer myself. I relax by playing video games and my favorite ones are fantasy RPGs or sci-fi. You know, that's my thing, I love that and my wife, also loves these things. But you know, I found a woman that really suits me well. And you absolutely can too. You know, if you look, um, and I'll post this too, like this is what I used to look like in high school. And you can see I look much different than I did than I did then. And it's not that I reinvented myself and made myself a different person. No, what I did, it was the opposite. Back then, I didn't know what I want. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. And so I just kind of defaulted on, on just something that was acceptable. It was so hard for me to even look at myself that I just kind of defaulted to that haircut. I needed somebody to guide me, tell me what to do, you know? And it was really hard for me to just trust in who I was. So what you're seeing back then was actually not my true authentic self. And you, you may resonate with that, like the way you are now, if you're really shy and you can't get out there and you don't have pizzazz to your style or whatever, and you can't express yourself emotionally and, you know, and talking and being able to get that out, then you're locked down and you're not allowing that to come out. And so, that's the thing, those things, those weird quirks that you have is what women really want to see in you. They, they can't, you know, when you lock yourself down, you come, become a very vanilla person and there's nothing interesting about you. You become very boring, but you're, you're substituting boring for safety. And that safety and that, that boringness is really, is, what, is really what makes it hard for you to move forward because they're not seeing you anymore because you don't have any interesting weird quirks. And then you're, you have this deer in the headlights look in your eye where you're kind of looking like this all the time and they can see that. They can see that you're just afraid to get out there at all. You have, you're just afraid. And it took me a long time. You know, it took me a long time in my life to really just settle into me. And so unapologetic 
being unapologetically yourself is something that took a long time for me to do. And I still work with it all the time, you know, because there are influences in our external world. There are influences that say, hey, you're not good enough. And, you know, that's your own head too. Your own head will tell you these things because you're not performing and you're not doing this and you're doing that. And you think that women need to see that performance from you in a certain way. And it's not true. They really just need to see that you can just express yourself genuinely and be who you are without trying to hold, put a mask over and try to be something you're not. You know, that's the biggest barrier that guys have when it comes to trying to meet and date women is they try to be different than they are. They try to just say, hey, I need to be this so that she'll like me. But that's not the case. You don't need to do that so she'll like you. You want to show your unapologetic self so that she has the opportunity to see if you're a good match for her. Because if you put on a mask and you try to be different than what she needs, and then it comes out later, it's gonna fall apart anyway. And at the end of the day, you're now thinking that she only likes you for the presentation you're putting up in front of her. And so you're always gonna have anxiety. You're always gonna feel insecure in your relationships. And if you do get a relationship, you're always gonna feel like she's gonna leave you for something better. And it's because you'll intrinsically feel like you're not enough because you can't express who you are. And one thing you gotta realize is that when you try to be something then you're not so that she gets this perception of you, you're manipulating her. You're trying to manipulate her. And so women have, have been forced to get really good with the spidey sense and try to figure out where mani manipulation is happening. And so that's why when you come up to a woman and she's kind of like really kind of standoffish, like who is this guy and why is he talking to me? It's because of that. You know, guys continuously doing that. They don't feel like they're enough and so they have to put on an act. Whereas if I just came up to her and just naturally got curious about something about her and I wanted to talk to her in an honest and open way, and I can have that small talk and it doesn't have to be in anything, it doesn't have to mean anything, it doesn't have to go anywhere, I'm just okay with the connection, then she can relax because I'm being congruent, right? My thoughts, my feelings, and what I'm saying and my actions are all incongruent. So it doesn't put up the spidey sense. She's not gonna be on guard. And the only way that's gonna happen is if you can truly be unapologetically yourself. You have to be able to be vulnerable in front of the woman that you're talking to. And a lot of guys like shit on like, oh, don't be vulnerable, you'll be a crybaby, you know, you know, don't be a pussy. And guys find that that is going to hurt them. They think that they're gonna be seen as a pussy or something if they show emotion in, in one way or they, they do, or they show too much interest in her. But the thing is, is that she's not, she doesn't care if you show too much interest. The problem is when you show too much interest in a way that you, she feels that you need something from her to get that validation. That's where it matters. If you just like her and you're unapologetic about it, but you're okay with her not liking you back and you can move on, you know, you're not just tied into this thing, then it's fine, right? You create this safe space. It's not a big deal if she doesn't like you. But the guy who's trying really hard, it is a big deal if she doesn't like him. And so now she feels like, oh, I feel conflicted. Now I can't express that I don't like him and it's creating a lot of tension here. I just want to get out of here because I don't like this guy and hes I feel like something's off about him. He's being manipulative and I can feel that if I say no, it's going to be a big problem. And that's a big, that is a big problem because really you're demonstrating that you're out of emotional control and that you don't have you're not very secure in yourself. And that's what she needs. She needs to feel that you, you like her, but you don't need her. Yeah, you're very interested in her. You wanna to get to know her better. You want to have that connection with her, but you don't need her for your own validation. That's very important. And the only way you can do that is be by being unapologetically yourself. You see, when you are unapologetically yourself, you demonstrate that vulnerability because now you give her the opportunity to be able to reject you, but you're okay with it. You know, and having that strength of character where it's like, it's okay if they don't, they reject me. You know, when I was a kid, I was, you know, I was still into all this nerdy stuff. And, and I had a friend and he was just, he, he literally is the embodiment of unapologetic expression. And he didn't care. You know, he liked all the same stuff we liked, but he was popular. But it didn't matter. You know, he owned it. He owned his, his quirks and idiosyncrasies. And he didn't give a shit about what other th people thought about him because he loved himself first. And he didn't have any problem with social interactions. He's very extroverted in that way. And, and you know, he got that feedback that people really liked him because he liked himself. And that's a trap that introverted guys or what I like to call men with social anxiety get is that they, they, get, they lock themselves down with their own thoughts. It's like they think they know what the other person is thinking without actually knowing what the other person is thinking. And so they lock themselves down. They live in this fantasy world 
where they don't have a baseline of what's real, what's reality. And they find that when they go out and they actually talk to some people and they get to know them, it's not as bad as they thought it was. And people are actually very receptive and they like it. They like people. They like to get to know these guys. And then when they express themselves and they can show their quirks and idiosyncrasies, then they find that these people can connect with them. They're like, oh, that's the guy who likes Dungeons and Dragons. Or that's the guy who is really good at computer programming. And that's really cool. If I ever have anything like that, I know who to talk to. You know, and they build that social network like that guy. I mean, there's a reason why. You know, when you put yourself out there and you can be vulnerable, you allow the space for connection to happen. You allow a space for intimacy. So in other words, an example is I had a, I had a client who was talking about speed dating and he was really afraid to go out there and do it the first time. He walked out twice before he actually sat down. And then when he sat down, um, he asked her if she was nervous and she said, yeah, I am really nervous. And then he realized that he was nervous too. And they both shared that vulnerability within themselves and now they could connect a little bit. And that connection there, that accepting of the other person's vulnerability is where intimacy and connection come from. And a relationship and sexual connection comes as a result of that kind of heartfelt connection, that acceptance with that person. And so these guys, they want to go out there and they want to do all these things to try to get these women but they fail to realize that they really need to do is just become secure in themselves and go connect with this woman over here. And not only that, they need to just in generally connect with people in their life and be interested in these people and care about what it is that makes them tick. And when they do that, they find out that, oh, okay, actually I am well received and it's okay. It's okay to go out there and talk to this person or talk to that person because I know generally that I'm going to be well received and that allows them to drop some of the armor and then they can be more expressive in themselves for the next person. And it just snowballs like that. And so if you're having problems with this needing to talk to women, you'd like, I have approach anxiety or something like that. Realize that it's not approach anxiety that you're having. It's your intrinsic feeling unworthiness and you're insecure in yourself and you don't want to express yourself unapologetically. You don't want to be vulnerable. It's like you want to be able to have this connection with somebody and you be the strong one and they get to be the vulnerable one and you get to have all the control and that they have to follow your lead because you're the cool one and all this stuff. And you get this narcissistic mindset. Well, I can tell you that that ain't how it works. If you're trying to go out there and do all this stuff, you're really causing a conniption fit for yourself. You're going to make yourself worse than if you never did any of that stuff. Just express yourself fully and unapologetically allow your heart to come out and allow people to see who you are you don't need lines you don't need tactics you don't need techniques you just need to show who you are and be authentic be congruent with what's in here and what's within what's in here and you can do that then you're going to knock all the shit out of the way now this necessarily won't make you amazing with women because there's other things you need to understand to get better with them and understand what is making them tick and why they do the things that they do. And you as a man, how you can be fully present in a relationship and be fully present in the dating scene and going from relationship all the way through marriage so that she stays with you and doesn't get neglected or anything else like that. And I talk a lot about that and that's what the program, my group coaching program is all about that. It takes you from not knowing what to do with your life to having a purpose, a vision, and understanding women and how they work and where you can go from there so that you set it up proper from day one. Because my big thing is what you do in the beginning in the dating is what you should be doing all the way through marriage. Fundamentally, you know, it's all the same. So the stuff that you learn here is not something that's different from somebody who's married. It's all the same thing. And it has to be congruent. Because why would you put on this hat, then this hat, then this hat? And it all has to come unapologetically from you, from your truth, your truth, what you need. And have a woman that comes in your life that matches you well. And not getting stuck in the traps of, I'm just going to commit to this one because I'm afraid there's not another one out there for me. <sighs> That's all I got for you guys. Um, if you found value in this video, click subscribe. I'm going to do a lot more of these. I'm going to do more like this because I feel like having an unscripted thing is more authentic and it's more unapologetic. And even though a script is good because I can get the point across a lot better and a lot more concise, you don't really get to see who I am. You don't get to see what kind of guy I am and it, it can come off as kind of, I don't know, stiff. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this video. Comment below if you, if you like it and hit the thumbs up button if you do. If you don't like it, hit thumbs down. I'm not, that's fine. But let me know in a comment as why you don't like the video so that I can do better in the next one. And if you have a question that you would like me to answer, go to the Facebook group. That link is also below and uh, I'd like to get to know you better. And uh, that's all I got for you guys, and stay unapologetically you.
unapologetic mastery for 